today we are going to talk about uh, the parts and surfaces of the bones of the foot. Uh, so uh, generally uh, in the foot we've got seven tarsal bones, the calcaneum, talus, calcaneum, talus, navicular, in front of the talus, cuboid, in front of the calcaneum, medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiforms, in front of the navicular. These are the seven tarsal bones, and then we have five metatarsal bones, first, second, third, fourth and fifth metatarsal bones. They have bases, these are bases, uh, shafts and heads. So if there's a spot on this, we say that this is shaft of the third metatarsal bone. If there's a spot on this, for example, we say that this is head of the fifth metatarsal bone. If there's a spot on this, we say that this is the base of the first metatarsal bone. And then we've got 14 phalanges. We have three phalanges for each of the lateral four toes and only two phalanges for the big toe. So it's important to name the toes here. Uh, for the digits of the hand, we call them fingers. But for the digits of the foot, we call them toes. This is the first toe or the big toe. This is the second, third, fourth and fifth toes. The fifth toe is also called the little toe. Uh, okay. So the big toe has only two phalanges, proximal and distal. Um, the other lateral four toes have got three phalanges, each of them. Proximal, middle, and distal phalanges. So if there's a spot on this, for example, we'd say that this is the proximal phalanx of the third toe. If there's a spot on this, we'd say that this is the distal phalanx of the little toe, or the fifth toe. And if there's a spot on this, for example, uh, we'd say that this is the middle phalanx of the third toe, and so on. Um, one more thing to mention is that uh, on the posterior surface uh, of the first metatarsal bone, We've got two sesamoid bones, two small sesamoid bones. Okay, this one is medial and this one is lateral. They provide attachments for the flexor hallucis brevis muscle. Flexor hallucis brevis. The flexor hallucis brevis has got, has got two heads, um, medial head and lateral head. Each of the head, um, attaches to each of these two small sesamoid bones. Okay. And uh, now let's talk a little bit more detailedly about the tarsal bones. This, as we said, is the calcaneum. Uh, there are some important spots on the calcaneum that we have to know. Firstly, um, on the posterior surface, uh, of the calcaneum, we've got uh, the posterior tubercle. So this is posterior tubercle uh, of the calcaneum for attachment uh, of the tendo calcaneus or the achillus tendon, um, which is formed by the gastrocnemius and also the soleus muscles. Okay. This posterior tubercle of the calcaneum also provides attachment for the tendon of the plantaris muscle. And uh, here uh, we've got two tubercles. 
this one is medial the medial tubercle of the calcaneum and this one is the lateral tubercle of the calcaneum okay and um, these are about the tubercles and here we've got a groove like that we have a groove on the calcaneum this is groove for the flexor hallucis longest tendon so um, by the way this is the right foot okay so uh, the um, flexor retinaculum is here uh, beneath the flexor retinaculum we've got some structures from medial to lateral we have um, tendon of the uh, tibialis posterior and then uh, tendon of the flexor digitorum longus and then um, posterior tibial artery and, pos uh, and uh, tibial nerve and finally we've got the flexor hallucis longus tendon so this is a uh, groove for the flexor hallucis longus tendon okay because it's uh, the most lateral uh, structure uh, that pass beneath the flexor retina retinaculum okay this is groove for the flexor hallucis longus tendon all right and uh, this part of the calcaneum is called the cystentaculum tali cystentaculum tali for support of the talus like that cystentaculum tali uh, okay and uh, here on the lateral surface of the calcaneum we've got a tubercle uh, this tubercle which is called the peroneal tubercle peroneal tubercle uh, it provides attachment for the superior and inferior peroneal retinacula okay the uh, superior from the lateral malleolus and also the inferior uh, peroneal retinacula uh, okay and uh, we also have this okay uh, this part of the calcaneum uh, is called uh, the sulcus calcanei sulcus calcanei uh, okay and now uh, let's talk about the talus uh, the talus is divided into three major parts uh, the head uh, this is the head okay. this is all uh, head head of the talus and uh, then we've got neck so this is neck okay this is neck like that neck of the talus and then we've got body okay this is all body of the talus in the body of the talus, we've got facets or articular surfaces for the ankle joint. This and also this are the two facets or articular surfaces of the talus for articulation with the tibia at the ankle joint. And this laterally is the facet or articular surface of the talus for articulation with the fibula, again, at the ankle joint. Uh, okay, and uh, here and uh, this is called the sulcus tali sulcus tali uh, This was the cystentaculum tali and this is the sulcus tali uh, Okay, and uh, now um, As we said in front of the talus, we've got the navicular bone uh, and this is the uh, tuberosity of the navicular tuberosity of the navicular which uh, provides an attachment uh, for the tibialis posterior tendon uh, okay and uh, in front of the uh, calcaneum uh, we've got the cuboid okay it has got a square shape a uh, cuboid and here again uh, in front of the calcaneum this is a uh, cuboid uh, on the cuboid we've got a groove okay uh, this groove is for the peroneus longus tendon see if you look at it uh, this way uh, this is lateral 
so here we've got two tendons uh, okay uh, tendon of the peroneus longus and tendon of the peroneus brevis tendon of the peroneus brevis uh, will attach uh, to the base of the fifth uh, metatarsal bone however um, tendon of the peroneus longus uh, will go through this groove okay uh, and then it will finally attach to the uh, medial cuneiform and base of the uh, first metatarsal uh, bone it will, it will go from lateral to medial so this is groove for the peroneus uh, longus tendon uh, all right and of course as we said in front of the navicular we've got three cuneiform bones medial intermediate medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform bones.